Is there any good cop, bad cop between? Because we change, depending. Yeah. We yeah we balance. Sometimes I'm the good cop, sometimes she's the good cop. Yeah. yeah. But I, Nini, I'm like I'm his Lexi ID, so he deals with the bigger cases. <laughs> and me, I'm Nini. I'm the traffic cop. So I'm um, yeah. Yeah, I escalate. <laughs> he has a bigger voice, so yeah, they take him more seriously. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, she's kind of like a a sprinter, so she has like she'll start things and energy. When the energy runs out, that's it. Yeah, but no. then he he's a marathoner, so when my energy runs out, he keeps going and goes on to till the end. And that's how we're able to finish any project. Mm -hmm. Just be deliberate. And yeah. Yeah, it's just deliberate. Because when it comes to work issues, it's pretty clear. And it's not just us. There are many other people involved. Yeah. So when it comes to family, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty clear that this is to do with family. And this is. So we don't even, so you, you don't do, we don't make our kids do what we do. We don't force them into it. Our daily of work. Yeah. Yeah. They're in school. Which are your homework. <laughs> no, my ki our kids. I think they see it with just like it's it's, it's normal. Uh, it's normal. Yeah. They don't even they don't even they don't, react yeah, to it. Really. They don't get too much. Yeah. So like, oh yeah, his mom. Oh. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you think kids see things the way grown-ups see them. So now, grown-ups see someone on TV, they're like, hey, they're going to go TV. But if that, oh, okay, that's what we do. That's what yeah. we do. Oh. And then yeah. they go outside and play. <laughs> yeah. I think that keeps changing every, every year, every five years, every ten years. With growth and with a bit of maturity and a little experience you realize that you know you, it's it's a it's not a it's not a static station you have to keep evolving and so am i where i am right now i am am i working towards uh, to, uh yeah am i working towards uh what i need to work on now yes i am yeah i think i stopped trying to plan my next 10, 20 years. Because in 10, 20 years, I'm not the same person. I probably don't want the same things. I would not want to be living the dream that my, the person I was 10 years ago wanted for, you know, it, yeah. Yes. What I would have wanted 10 years ago for this time is not what I want right now. I don't want to be there at this place. Yeah. So it keeps evolving. Am I working on that and on, uh, am I deliberate about my evolution? Yes, I am. Yeah, I think that things change because it's like, if I want it, like if 10 years ago, 15 years ago, if the goal was to buy a car and, I don't know, have kids, then you're there, then what? Because you now those, those are not now the goals. There are other things involved. Now you're dealing with training other people and the things you've learned, you want to uh, duplicate yourself or pass that knowledge to others. You want to also change a few things about the way the industry operates. And so they, yeah, they do keep changing. Yes, I think our, our first TV series together was that we look back to with a lot of nostalgia because it was our baby. We wrote it from the heart. We didn't know anything about the industry. We were just we were just really working from the heart, really. So, and it was our first time to work on a project of such a skill together. We had worked together before on other things, but not at this level. Yeah, so that was, that was nice. Yeah, and it really pushed both of us out of our comfort zones. It was his first time writing. It was my first time directing for TV, like a series, like a drama. Yeah. First of all, there needs to be an industry, yeah, <laughs> because the implication with the word industry is there are support systems, everything in place, you know, whether it's uh, credit systems or uh, like standards that are set, qualifications, things like that, and protection for people who actually do the work. Hey, right now it's pretty freestyle and yep, there it's 
it's one of the most difficult things is like funding a project. So people don't know how to do that. So you okay, so do I have to work another job, save up money, then come and and work or do I go look for funding from where? Because there's not much information out there. So a lot of people, even girls who've been in the industry for how many years, they still don't know where to find funding for projects. And so the ideas are there, no problem. The technical know-how, expertise, it's all there. But how do you get the project funded? That's why you don't see that many movies released per year. Like uh, uh, what we are only with. Uh, just chomoy, chomoy, chomoy. <laughs> they have their they have their systems. They have their systems. Yeah. So someone can act in front of movies in a year. And whether or not we make fun of them, they they produce the movie. So over here it's just hard to be hard enough. The license is involved, the, the confusion between where to get funding and where to go for this, where to go for that. You go release a movie and you're told, hey, yeah, you violated one one two little thing, it can't be allowed. So it's it's still a bit mm, it's still growing, kind of. Yeah, yeah it's still growing. Yeah, it's for creatives they're really swimming against the current. Yeah.